So this story started long time ago without my knowledge. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, sometimes uh, when I come back in the afternoon, the mama assembly and I'm like, eh? I'm like, and I'm like, okay, 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 and I'm like, okay, okay, sawa. So, some women can be very heartless. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. So and she was, she was a grandmother. She she used to have. She, she was not my age. Mm -hmm. Yes. She was the age of my mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the daughter kakufungwa mati. So now the daughter. This particular day now mm -hmm. it is on a Saturday. People are going for kesha mm -hmm. and then the daughter comes and tells me, "Kuja ujione." Tasema ni mkuambia fitina. And I'm like, "Kuja yone ni." So she told me, she, she pretended that she's going out for a short call, and then she ran to my house, and then she called me, then when I went, So me, what I did, I just opened the, the, the curtain, I told them, I went back to my house. Now this man slept there until morning, so in the morning, he came with my assembly, pick up her, his belongings. And he's still a pastor to today? Yeah, he, but not in the same church. He went and opened up her, his own church. Where well, now? Just, no, just in Midori. And does he take care of his son? No, he has never even seen her. Seen her. So he came to take his belongings mm -hmm. and I'm now left there with my belongings. So, I have a special need child now, this is another now I'm five months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now he's even telling me, just take take that pregnancy where you got it from, because it does not belong to me. Na mimi kwa Biblia I'm the Paul. I'm the Paul in the Bible. Where did you see Paul getting married? And I'm like, what are you trying Which to tell? Which pastor is that? You yes, people should know him. Which pastor is that? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Where did you where did you hear them in the Bible? Paulo alioa wapi? Ulisikia wapi Paulo alioa? And I'm like I'm five months pregnant. Ako bado uko nyumbani chaka. Yes. Does he see you? I've never seen him. I, I, I saw I only saw him when my daughter was one year. Since then I've not seen him. No, you left the marriage and started life. No, he's, he's the one who left me. Mm -hmm. So what what else could I have done? Well, because now he has got, he has taken his belongings. I'm here with my own belongings, mm -hmm. and I, I'm just figuring out now. I have a son who has been rejected by his own father, mm -hmm. and now I'm having, uh, I'm carrying, uh, I'm carrying a child mm -hmm. who is being rejected, mm -hmm. and he's, she's not even yet been born. Mm -hmm. Now what am I going to do? Where am I starting from? Mm -hmm. Yes. So. I went to the road. I first of all called my brother. I told him to take my things home. And I told him I will, I will come in the evening because now I didn't have money for the road. Mm -hmm. So I just had to trek to back to home. Mm -hmm. So now this time I'm just now thinking, let me now end my life. Mm -hmm. Because it is, I don't know whether it is going to be to, it is going to be good from here. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I went on the road. I just wanted to be by the bus. Yes. So there was a. The, I I wait. I stood there at the at, at, at the road. Mm -hmm. Now I was waiting for a bus, mm -hmm. not a matatu. So I went and you see it is like a highway. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, the, the bus came. I don't know how. How how I, I I found myself on the grass because I was supposed to be hit and die. Yes, I wanted to, to die there. Because I have a child, he's been rejected by the father. And now this pregnancy, five months, where am I taking it? Where am I taking this pregnancy? And what are people going to say? Yes, it's a second marriage, yes, that, a second has marriage that has not worked. Wow, wow, yes. wow, 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 wow. So I tried. But uh, I don't know. I don't know whether someone pushed me from the road because I was sure this bus was going to hit me and die there.
I, I have no words, but uh, I'll, I'll, what I can say is that God always has a purpose for everything. And the reason as to why you never die those times you attempted to kill yourself was because God has a purpose and God has not finished up with you. So, since then, what have you been doing or what have you, uh, what has kept you going up to where you are today? So, after I gave birth to my daughter, mm -hmm. after one year, mm -hmm. to, I left her, uh, I left her when she was one year, two months mm -hmm. with my mom. Mm -hmm. Then, a uh, uh, distant, uh, distant uncle came. Mm -hmm. Then they told me there's a job, there's someone, someone who's looking for someone to work for them. It's a family who's looking for someone to work for them. And then uh, when he came, I didn't have, my, my affair was not complete. Mm -hmm. So I told him, let me go and look for pineapples mm -hmm. two days. Mm -hmm. Then I, when I make profit, then at least now my money, my, my bus fare will mm -hmm. be enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I will come. So I came, I came on a Saturday. I, yeah, I came on a Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. uh, I traveled during the day, mm -hmm. so I came, I read the Arabic in the evening. Mm -hmm. So I went to our bishop, bishop's house. Mm -hmm. Now my bishop, uh, well, by then he, was, he had divorced with, with the wife, mm -hmm. so he was staying alone. Mm -hmm. And he, was, you know, he had grown up, mm -hmm. grow, he had teenagers, mm -hmm. so he, they were not staying with him. They were not. They were sleeping in a different house, mm -hmm. so he was alone. So I was directed by the the pastor, another pastor mm -hmm. just back in the village, mm -hmm. and he told me, "Wanda udale for bishop." Mm -hmm. Then the following day, because it's on Sunday, mm -hmm. someone will pick you and then take you to the work mm -hmm. where you're going to work. So I'm here going to sleep at my bishop, my bishop's house. So when I uh, in the evening after we uh, had our uh, our supper, mm -hmm. now the bishop wants to meet me. Now he's telling me, I know you have come to work, but uh, I'm not. I, I I don't have a wife, so I want to I want to marry you. I'm like I, I told him you can't marry me because. So Bishop I want to marry you, I'm telling him no. You can't marry me because I've been married to the same to the same church. People know you, mm. people know the, the other pastor. pastor. So you cannot marry me because now what will I tell my parents? Mm. Because now my parents know that I'm coming to look for a job mm. to fend for my children. Mm. So when they hear that I'm also going to get married, they will not be happy with me. Mm. Of course they will not be happy. Mm. So I told the bishop, no, I can't, I can't get married to you. But you are like my father. Mm. Yes. So he insisted. And now here we are the two of us. Now he wants to rape me. So I I went out. I went out. Mm -hmm. So when he when I screamed, he, he got he, 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 he got scared. He got scared. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there was a kitchen. Now I went to lock myself in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so that's how you escaped. Right? That is how I escaped. I slept there until morning until I had that voice of that person who was coming to pick me. Mm -hmm. Is when I woke up. Yes, yes. So, so you came to Nairobi and started now work. So again. where I went to work, mm -hmm. I went to work for a certain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Upper, upper Ngara, upper. Yes. So Kazi Kanishinda. My work was to take care of the kids. So this is I, I traveled the, the the previous day. Now Sijapata was Now I'm taking care of the kids. Now these kids are beating me. <laughs> How old are the kids? No, we have three years, we have two years. And now five years. All of them are beating you. No, yeah. Why? So, in, since I came into this house, mm -hmm. I've not, I've not been given anything. I've not eaten anything. And now my my work is to take care of the kids. So now there's a playing there, there's a playing room where you go play with the kids. Mm -hmm. 
no you sometimes you get you are exhausted you are hungry you are tired now the kids wants to play with you now you don't have that energy now this this kid starts beating you so this kid beats me up and then when i go report to the mother because the mother was a housewife the mother told me oh, what kind of a thing is that you're coming to tell me that these kids can beat you and now the, uh, the housekeeper comes and tells me yeah that is what they do they will beat you until you run away <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yes she told me they will beat you until you run away so how long did you stay in that house one day and you left so one day now this uncle that introduced me to this family mm -hmm. i went back to his house so now I'm at his house, now looking for a job. So the wife, after I've stayed there for a week, now the wife says, Hey, after Nairobi, nikufanya kazi. Kama utati kazi, you just pack your things and leave my house because I will not take care of a grown-up. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay. okay. So now the, where, where my uncles used to stay, mm -hmm. now there's a mama and the neighbor who used to work there, but she used to stay in Madari. Mm -hmm. Now this mama comes and tells me, uh, nene, kila siku na pitanga na pata umeka hapa, unalia, ni nini mbaya. So now my, uh, my, my uncle and my the wife has gone to work. Mm. Now it has come to an extent, now my, 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 my auntie mm. has thrown me, has thrown my things out. Now this day she's telling me, sitake kurudi ni kupate hapa, because I'm not going to fix a grown up like you. If you have refused to work, you are not going to stay in my house. Now I'm here with my pa my, my paper bag because that is what I came with. I didn't ever had a bag. Mm -hmm. So I'm here with my bag sitting on a stool because they've, they've locked me out. Mm -hmm. The food is inside but I can know they, they, I don't have the kids that locked me. The kids are gone to school, the mother is gone to work, mm -hmm. the father is gone to work. Mm -hmm. So now this lady gives me food during the lunch lunch hour and then she tells me in the evening I'm going to go with you to my house. I live in Madari. And someone told us from for someone asked me for someone three weeks ago. Now we go sleep in my house, and then tomorrow we go find out whether he's still looking for someone. Okay. Now this is Komarok. So now when I went to so so I went to the, with the mama. She was old, an old lady, and uh, she used to stay with the grand the grandchildren. So she told me she had uh, she had. Um, she had lost the, 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 her, her, her children, seven of them. Mm -hmm. Now the mother to the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Now she was last thing with the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So we slept there. The following day she took me to Komaro. Then that is how I got a job mm -hmm. in Komaro. Yes. So here is a pastor in a certain church. And the wife is also a pastor. So connect I worked for nine months mm -hmm. no I worked for one year that's come out of now this come lady and the husband are pastors and you're taking care of the grandchildren no 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 mm -hmm. now the grand the, this mama who picked me the one who used to have grandchildren mm -hmm. now I'm just taking and she's taking me to come out to uh, to to a family of uh, four ch ch children Mm -hmm. Yes, now that is where I'm going to work now. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Now she took me to Komarok. Now uh, we found out that this lady was still looking for someone because she used to look, get people, but they never used to stay. To stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of the, the, the work. Yeah. Now raising for you are, you, you are taking care of four, four kids, and that uh, is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Now by then, yeah. Because now you get someone from the village. People, you, you know, you just go do kazi kidogo and then you rest. But now this is a whole lot of work. Mm -hmm. So now that is how the, the people used to come and run away. So now when uh, she got me, she, she was so nice to me, I can say that. But uh, the problem now starts here. Uh, the husband is not working. It's the wife that is working. So we are, are they both working? Yeah, they are no both parts. Yeah, even we used to go to the same church. Mm -hmm. So now this man start uh, sex sexually harassing me, mm -hmm. like touching me when I'm washing, because I used to wash just in the bath inside the house in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So he comes out from the 
his bedroom, he's going to the toilet, he, I'm, I'm bending like this and then he's touching me and I'm like, what is wrong? Eh? Mm -hmm. Now, he did that for a while mm -hmm. and then now I told him, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to report you to your wife. Mm -hmm. Then he told me, if you report me to your, to my wife, you are the one who is going to do the job. So, I now there's a lady who used to stay in the, there's a servant quarter mm -hmm. that has a, an upstairs. Mm -hmm. So now this lady used to stay upstairs. So I went to tell her the story. I want to tell her the, the, about this guy, mm -hmm. this man that is uh, harassing me. Mm -hmm. So when I told her, and I also told her the story about my rape case, mm -hmm. now that is when now she called the the empty mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you get any? No, no, because now I I was scared, and also I didn't know how to I didn't know how to tell the story. Okay. Yeah. And uh, for her, so, did you leave that house? Yes, I did. I leave. I leave the house. <coughs> you left the house. I left. Yeah. After a lot of sexual harassment. After a lot of did sexual harassment. Did woman ever know? I never that? told her. Mm -hmm. In fact, now he he started telling the wife mm -hmm. that uh, no, he started stopping eating food. Mm -hmm. My food, the mm -hmm. food that I've cooked. Mm -hmm. Now he's telling the wife that he's not going to eat the food because it is badly cooked. Now that is the side of now he wants me out of yeah. his house. Yeah. Yes. I'm so sorry, Lynette. I'm yes. so sorry. And um, you've told me you still work as a houseguard. Yes. Okay. So, and you've also told me you'd really love to, to do something that will help you and help your kids. Yes. So, because your kids are still at home. Yes. What, what help would you love? First of all, in my kid, my kids are grown up now, and uh, they are all both in high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, my challenge now is uh, their school fees, mm -hmm. because I cannot afford to pay once, mm -hmm. because for the for the two of them, mm -hmm. and one it's very special. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, now you see the the special one. Mm -hmm. At least now the the government is paying the fifty three thousand, and then the parents are paying ten thousand. But for me, it's still a challenge mm -hmm. because now for me, getting the he wants to go back to school with the shopping. You have to shop for him and your daughter too. And my daughter too. Where is she going? My daughter is in Saint Bishop Macarius. Bishop Macarius. Bishop Macarius. She's in form. She's in form. She's going to form three. They are opening tomorrow. Yes. They are praying that God uh, will will will. Will touch life, but will people help you? Mm -hmm. And uh, we pray that you'll be able also to put up the business that you want to put up, so that you can be close to your kids. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because coming to work in Nairobi as a houseguard mm -hmm. and your kids are uh, in the rural, mm -hmm. I know it's a, it's a challenge for you. It has been a challenge. It has been a challenge now because every like. Uh, the, before now when I used to now after I ran away I'm going to get another job now uh, for me I now started asking for single mothers I just wanted to work for single mothers mm -hmm. now when you get a single mother who has teenagers mm -hmm. now you uh, first I, I got a, a mother that uh, no the, she was married but the husband used to stay in Mombasa and she used to stay here so now this he had two sons so now the first the small son who was 16 years he took a photo uh, a photo of me when i was naked and i was in the bathroom so he went out and showed the, uh, his, the his friends on a boat to venyanaka now you are naked what yes so after he took the photo of me uh, in the bathroom he goes under the bed in my bedroom he goes under the bed and now, um, you see, you, you don't know your you, dressing. You are dressing. You are naked. Did you ever tell the yes, your mother? Yes, I told her. In fact, when she came to pick me, she, I, because I knew her before, mm -hmm. when she came to look for me, she found me in the bureau. She said she wants me. And I asked her, I used to see you having uh, uh, hiring and firing. What used to be the problem? Then she told me, where put your kwangu? Where did you Because me, I don't know. 
And I'm like, ah, I know you have children, I know you, let me go, it will be fine. So now this boy is the one now who has been mistreating the girls. And when you told her, what did she do? She did nothing because, in fact, he started like this. Now you see, after after we had our uh, we had supper, now this mama used to tell us we sit in the sitting room we watch an episode. Uh, yes. Now you see, she had she had this three sitter. Billy mm -hmm. and then uh, the, the two small ones. Mm -hmm. So this boy used to come where I'm sitting on this three seater chair mm -hmm. and, and he could move and move and move and move and reach me and I'm like, Songa, Songa. and the mother is here. And I was like, why are you doing this? And the mother is not and the mother is sitting on this one and she's watching everything. Now this boy come, comes to sit where I'm sitting and then and I'm sukuma, and I'm sukuma to the end and then I have to stand up and go. He still follows me to the bedroom. So you've gone to lock yourself in the bedroom now because you're not comfortable in the sitting room. Now the mother is doing nothing. Now you've gone to, lock, to sleep now because you now you cannot continue watching because the mother is not doing anything. So now this boy follows me. I will fungo mlango. Eh? I'm like, what is wrong with you? Eh? And sometimes in the morning when you're washing clothes, now you see the tap outside, now it is the kitchen, the window and then the tap outside. He draws the water in the kitchen sink and then pours on you. And then when you report the mother, he, she does nothing. As we, as we end up, Lynette, you faced it all. But what Stephen has made me know, I feel like you need to talk actually, you're still a house manager. Yes. And, and I I, I'm, I'm not doing it because yeah, I love yeah. it. And I know God is going to change your story. Mm -hmm. But before that comes, I want you to talk to those single mothers that employ house manager and they allow their kids to frustrate those house managers because you have been frustrated. I've been frustrated a lot Talk and also because... I am a leader, mm -hmm. you see, I lead the house girls but now they tell me a lot of stories what they are going through but I cannot help because you have an organization and you have a channel. You see Kudeha, mm -hmm. you know Kudeha, Kudeha is Kenya domestic something uh -huh. yeah yeah uh -huh. so that organization uh -huh. it is just under a call too uh -huh. yes so i also i'm also a leader because i represent yaya center so i get so many uh -huh. so many stories uh -huh. and I'm, i just encourage the the girls uh -huh. oh my yes. I know not all em employers are good, mm -hmm. but be as we wind up, before you go and give out your details, huh? mm -hmm. I want you to talk to that woman who is there, she's a single lady, and she knows at the back of her mind huh, that her kids, or even a, f or a, or even a couple, mm -hmm. they know that their kids frustrate husbands. Mm -hmm. Please kindly talk to them, because being a house manager, it's not, it's not your choice. Yes. Circumstances come. Mm -hmm. Today you're a single mother, but not by choice. Mm -hmm. You have given us the story that you've gone through. Mm -hmm. Today, myself, I always say I'm a single mother, but it's not by choice. It is what I've gone through to be where I am today. Mm -hmm. But the society attempts judges in a, in a wrong way. Just like you have said, you've gone through it all in the hands of those men and also kids being a house manager. Can we just talk to those parents or even single mothers or single fathers mm -hmm. who are boy girls and they run away? Okay. I, I want to tell them single mothers out there, please, when uh, some, when uh, your house girl comes and report to you that uh, this, she has been harassed by your children, please, talk to them. Talk to them. Because you can, some can, some as little as nine. Because I was also harassed by a nine year old. I was like, hey, it has gone to this. Mm -hmm. Now, this boy used to come to the kitchen and tell me, Auntie, I'm going to go to the kitchen. 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 I'
I'm like, what is this? What is now this? Mm -hmm. Now, you see, a child is innocent. Now, you don't know where they're getting these things from. Now, this this child told me that what I told me kushike, kwa sababu huyo anti mwingine alikuwa na nikubalia kumushika. So I was, why are you, especially if you do you want to start me? Mm -hmm. I can't be a mahali So I was like, now I don't want to lose this job. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'm, I'm also not going to allow this child to touch me indecently, mm -hmm. uh, not knowing what was in, in its intentions. Mm -hmm. So who you talk to? I went and started and I'm like Ah! Ata alikuwa nakubali? Eh! Alikuwa nakatini and nikubali and nikubali shika kila maani and I'm like now I'm not going to report this child I'm going to leave this job because how am I going to report a nine year old? How am I going to report a nine year old? Because even if you go report to uh, to, to the mother, mm. the, she will say, "Akuna, akuna." Well, and you una una Yes. Please talk to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So most of the mothers will tell you, "Apana, ni we and your buyer," and then the, the uh, in, in fact, now the, these children will tell you, if you refuse what if you refuse to do what we want you to do, mm. then my mother will fire, fire you. Mm. And of course, the mother will listen to this child, mm. and then you are going. You are the one who is going to lose the job. Mm. But that is not the case. The case is we are innocent mm. because we know what we have come to get from there. Tunakuja kufanya kazi ile tunusaidia watoto wetu. But uh, we run away because of your children mm. or because of your husbands. Mm. Yes. So they should always listen to their house managers, whatever they are doing, exactly. and also do an investigation exactly. before they jump into conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lynette. I am so, 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 so honored and humbled, and I'm so inspired by your story, and I really thank God. Mm -hmm. And I know there are so many people that, uh, by the time we air this video, mm -hmm. they will watch and then be encouraged. Mm -hmm. And I know also uh, house house managers mm -hmm. will, will appreciate the good work you represent in them. Mm -hmm. And I pray that God will change your story for the better. Mm -hmm. We wish you the very best that you may, you may not struggle from today taking care of your kids. Mm -hmm. And may God open for you doors that you may be able to put up your own business and leave the house man uh, the housework again and at least just be on your own to be able to take care of your your kids especially your son who is a special child and uh, you are not where you are today without god having a reason he has the reason i'll tell you for sure mm -hmm. and today i know you're going to inspire a lot of people mm -hmm. and uh, your children will bring laughter into you. The, the things that you've gone through, I pray your kids will never go through that again. Yeah, and I know God is going to change your story for the better. I always say that because Suipan is not where she was, and I'm happy that through my story you got the courage to look for me, and I am so honored, I'm so honored. I don't take this for granted. And to you, my viewer, before uh, Lynette gives her out her contact, I would want you to encourage her. I would want you to take a step where God will help you. Let's embrace this woman, this amazing mom. Let's embrace her. Let's give her the support that God will enable us to give her. And I'm very sure that as much as God will help us to raise her, tomorrow God will also raise you, that you will stretch your hand and help her. Let's embrace her, let's embrace her kids. You have heard her story and you have seen all that she has gone through. And now I'll allow her just to give her, her out her contact so that you who is there, you want to reach her out, you can reach out, you can write her an, an amazing message, you can write her an encouragement words and you can just give her hope where she thinks that life has come to an end. Let's just tell her that it is the beginning of a bright future. Kind of just give out your number mm -hmm. uh, My phone number is 0711 415 462. Your full name is Lynette Ondiego. Yes. Thank you so much, Lynette. I am so honored. And to my viewer, like I've always said, so Fun Fraternity is here to inspire, encourage, motivate, and to also give a voice to the voiceless. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe, like, 
comment. Road to 10k subscribers. Thank you so much for always tuning in. God bless you. Shalom. Until next time.